So hello friends, in today's video we will discuss about the difference between Sienna MLA, MLA2 and MLA3. So basically MLA, MLA2 and MLA3 is the mid line amplifier. So we will discuss in next some slides about some basic difference and some specification about Sienna MLA, MLA2 and MLA3. So moving to the first slide. So this is the MLA mid line amplifier. So you can see here, this is the physical representation of MLA. So in MLA, there is six port, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight port. The first two port belong to the monitoring port. The second pair of two port three and four is belongs to the OAC port. The fifth and sixth port belong to the line B and seven and eight port belong to the line A. You can see here clearly this port one and port two belongs to monitoring port monitoring a out is for for the for the from the port 2 and monitoring 1 b out is from the port 1 this port 3 and port 4, four belongs to the osc so osc a out to the port port 4 and osc b in from the port 3 port 5 and 6 belongs to the line b so line b input port is 6 and line b output port is 5 in the same way the line a in port is 8 and line A out is the port from the port 7. So you can see here this is the name of the interfaces. So mon, mon port, port number 1 and port number 2, monitor port for line B out and this is port number 2 is monitor port for line A out. OSC B in and OSC A out. So optical service channel input and optical service channel output. So this optical service channel means OSC input from port number 3 and output from port number 4. In the same case line B output port number 5. So the output port of pass through channel B you can see here this is from port number 5 and our input port of pass through from uh, pass through channel B is from port number 6. In the same case port number 7 and port number 8. Port number 7 is used for output port of pass through channel A and port number 8 you can see here is used for input port of pass through channel A. So this is the connector type. So all the port, all the eight port using LC connector type. So here the basic overview of MLA. So mid state line amplifier module has two variant. So the first one is the mid state line amplifier MLA C band circuit pack. And the second one is the mid state line amplifier MLA L band circuit pack. So what is MLA C band and MLA L band? MLA circuit packs are used for both age and core application where pre and post amplification, booster amplification is required. So whenever there is a pre amplification and post amplification, so this is case of the pre and post amplification means in both the direction, in the both direction line A and line B, both the direction there is the amplification occurs that is called the MLA. So each MLA C band or MLA L band contains two ADFA. Two RBM roped fiber amplification. You can see here this is the two ADFA. Both one is the one is in pre pre amplifier configuration and the other is in the post amplifier configuration. So you can see here one amplifier one ADFA is used in the pre amplifier configuration, amplifying the signal as it entering the site from the line, and other in the post amplifier configuration mean amplify the signal as it leaves the site onto the line. And OSC channel 15 11 nanometer splitter coupler. The MLA C band and MLA L band basic circuit packs are intended for different application like link module. The MLA C band circuit pack. So here is the difference between MLA C band and MLA, and MLA L band. So MLA C band circuit pack is gain controlled amplifier and it is used in dock control system. And MLA L band circuit pack is a fixed gain amplifier and used in passive photonic system that manually equalizes equalized using pads. So this is about MLA and now we are moving to the MLA2 mid line amplifier 2. So this is the picture of MLA2 physical presentation. The physical presentation is very similar to the MLA you can see here when there is a 8 port. The first two port belongs to MON, the second pair of port belongs to SC, the third pair of port is belong to line B and the fourth pair of the port belongs to line A. You can see here there are two variant of mid line amplifier. The first one is the MLA2 and the second is MLA2 with variable optical alternator. So you can see here in the both line, line A and line B, there is a VOA is used. So there is a two variant of MLA2. 
again there is interface physical port function and connector type this is very similar to the mla so you can see here this interface name physical port function and connection type and this is physical representation so this physical representation this interface and this is logical inter uh, logical uh, presentation this is similar for all the three amplifier mla mla2 and mla3 so mid-stage line amplifier circuit pack also refer as mla2 mid-stage line amplifier with variable optical alternator there is a two uh, variant of mla2 voa circuit pack also refer as mla2 with voa the mla2 or mla2 with oaa circuit pack contains two adfa again one in pre amplifier configuration one is in post amplifier configuration a single osc channel 15 11 nanometer in case of mla2 with voa variant variable optical attenuator at the output of each amplifier you can see here this is the variable optical attenuator is placed at the output of each amplifier so at the output of this amplifier at the output of this amplifier there is a voa is placed and what the use of this voa so this is voa can attenuate the output of this both at far both amplifier so if we want to attenuate the output of this amplifier we can use by this voa so required for application where attenuation is needed to meet link budget constant and pads are not desired so if in this case of mla2 with voa we don't need to put manually put the pads we can just attenuate the power by using this voa the primary difference comparing to the mla so what is the difference primary difference you have found between mla2 and mla after studying this so the primary difference comparing the mla circuit pack is that mla2 or mla2 with variable optical attenuator circuit pack has a higher gain in both the pre and post amplifier than the mla so the gain of gain in the both direction of mla2 is little bit higher than the mla the exact amount and the different parameters you can see in my next video in which we have compared different many types of parameters of mla mla2 and mla3 so you can check that video for comparing all the parameters and exact value of them so there's a little bit higher gain of mla2 than the mla and gaining more flexibility in the link budget therefore mla2 and mla2 with voa circuit pack in chosen over mla circuit packs where spain have more losses so mla3 mid state line amplifier 3 you can see here again the physical representation is very similar to mla and mla2 the logical diagram and the interface name physical port number function and connector type this is again very similar to the mla and mla2 so let's talk about some features like mla and mla2 the mid stage line amplifier 3 circuit pack also used for both edge and core application it again contains the two adfa you can see here two adfa one is in pre amplifier configuration and one is in post amplifier configuration again there is a single osc channel split coupler for mla3 the mla3 circuit pack has similar functional functionality to existing mla2 however its typical power consumption is slightly higher than mla2 so again if you want to compare the exact parameters and the exact value you need to check my next video in which the different parameters and uh, their exact values compared for mla mla2 and mla3 that is discussed in the video comparison of mla mla2 and mla3 so the mla3 also has same maximum gain as the mla2 but has higher maximum total output power so you can see the basic difference between mla3 and mla2 is the total output power is little bit higher for mla3 for line a mla3 has 23.5 tbm compared to 19.5 tbm for mla2 so you can see there is a power difference for line b mla3 has 23 dbm and mla2 has 90 dbm so the gain is exactly the same but there is a maximum total output power is little bit higher for mla3 than mla2 mla3 can be used in application where reach and capacity are limited by output power mla3 can help with avoiding raman use in some cases in some cases mla3 can help remove the need for regeneration MLA3 enables fully filling C band with 100G wavelength. 
in some network scenarios mla3 can provide margin improvement so this is all about mla3 so this is the comparative view of physical view of mla mla2 mla mla3 so you can see there is a comparison you can see the comparison but there is no different you can compare and find there is a similarity between physical view of mla mla2 and mla3 this is very much similar all three amplifier has eight ports same dimensions you can see the same number of pair ports monitor osc line b line a same physical presentation same interface name physical port function and connector type so the physical view of mla mla2 and mla3 is very much similar so you can see the comparative view of logical diagram so logical diagram is also very similar for mla mla2 and mla3 but only the difference is that mla2 has two variant one with a variable optical alternator in which there are two variable optical alternator is placed at the output of every alpha so you can see this is mla this is mla3 this is mla2 very similar and this is mla2 with variable optical alternator and two variable optical alternator is placed after each alpha so this is all about the difference between mla mla2 and mla3 thank you